So the gang gang now are halloting or mixing more concrete. It doesn't warrant a uh, cement mixer, motorized mixer. It's a manual mix of sand, cement and stone with water. And then we uh, literally just run it up the chain and pour it into these beams. So legends, welcome to vlog 184 on the Miles Rolden YouTube channel. You'll see all of the gang gang are on this uh, top corner of the property build. Uh, the final preparations for the former are being applied. And uh, from what I understand, it will be balls time. We'll be pouring concrete into these uh, final beams at the rear of this property on this corner. And then next week we'll uh, We'll begin the work on the beams at the front, which are a lot smaller. They just hold the uh, uh, they just hold the um, the roof, much like our neighbours here. It's just a small little uh, thing at the front. All right, on with the vlog. Right, legends, welcome to vlog 184, 184 on the Miles Rolden YouTube channel. Today is Swildo Day, it's Saturday. It's the day that we pay our men, our gang gang, their much earned salaries for the week. And I also thought it might be a good idea to give you guys uh, a roundup of everything that occurred this week, work-wise, floor by floor, and give you an update. I thought it's a, a nice way of doing it so uh, we can uh, compare what uh, what has gone on throughout the week from Monday all the way through to, uh, to today, Saturday. So let's go through it. If, uh, if you are a regular viewer of mine, you will know that uh, the beginning of the week was met with a lot of uh, poor um, weather lot of rain so foreman rocky decided that he wanted to start inside uh with the finishing so th throwing uh, concrete onto the wall to smooth it out uh, i believe it's called rendering so rendering occurred and you'll see that this wall on the staircase is mostly there it almost uh, got finished uh this part here got started and Gerson's wall here is completely uh, rendered, smoothed out, and it's uh, a very nice wall actually with all of the electrical stuff all uh, accounted for as well. And then if you turn the corner, it looks like this has also been rendered with that, which is the CR. The top of the CR hasn't, hasn't quite been started yet but uh, great progress has occurred, which I'm happy about. This will be my mother and father's room on the ground floor. And uh, this is actually where we started the, the, the beginning of the week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, where Foreman Rocky started this wall and then Jovin later finished the top of it. Jovin also finished this entire wall here and also made a start on this wall with the window. So all around this uh, ground floor uh, master bedroom for my mother and father has received a decent amount or uh, started its rendering process. And uh, I, I think you'll agree that they've made a good attempt at all the walls that they started. Uh, so basically every time it rained, they went back to doing this 
and uh, when it when there was sunshine they then ran up or begun the uh, the ascent up to the third floor and carried on with the beam work on the third floor which they are doing right now but the weather again today is not the greatest with uh, with a few uh, showers here and there there is some blue skies over there so that's why they've uh, all started again on the last remaining beam work on the top floor so the foremast has been uh, removed from the beams that you would have seen in vlog 183 and are now on the final beams near our um, off bakery side and uh, we are now ready to pour concrete into it so uh, yeah on the ground floor quite a bit of rendering was done Okay, legends, so now we're on the second floor, so the ground, uh, sorry, the floor up from the ground floor. Not much to report work-wise on this floor. Um, previous vlogs, you would have seen a lot of the hollow blocks making the uh, room layout, the hollow block layout. Uh, but I know this week, the electrical team spent a bit of time on this floor, and I'm happy to report that we have various breaker boxes installed, and this breaker box is uh, one of three that was installed this week that leads down the spine of the house through the staircase so um, downstairs on the ground floor the second floor and the third floor all have breaker boxes and uh, yeah I mean they are they will conceal our breaker switches and I think you'll agree they've been uh, neatly installed and uh, yeah so the electrical team focused on that, as well as uh, installing various other outlets on the staircase, etc. So yeah, that's kind of the update for this week on the second floor. So legends, we're now on the top floor, the third floor on the Dream Home Building Project here in Sapi and Capis, Philippines. And I'm happy to uh, report this week has had a lot of progress regarding these uh, concrete beams. And we are doing the final push to concrete these, uh, these final beams here that are in there for us. If you saw the previous vlog to this in vlog 183, you'll know that we were concreting these uh, beams down the center. I'm very pleased to say this week they got completed and look how sexy they are they are very sexy concrete beams and some of these also got done and their formats have been removed and they were all added now onto this right side where the gang gang are now focusing their attention where all this liquid concrete will then run its way up there over to Nunai Joven in Tanoi where they will pour this final bit here and it will be left to dry over the weekend as it is Saturday today, it's uh, Swildo Day and the end of the week so that's kind of, oh and finally that you see over there the final uh, breaker box that was installed I may give you a, a closer look on that later if I can get round there. So yeah, electrical team have uh, installed quite a bit this week. The gang gang have started the uh, finishing, the rendering process on the ground floor and are almost finished now with the pouring of concrete beams. Certainly for the inside design, we still have these beams here that need to, to go on this uh, large balcony at the front of the property that will load bear the roof 
but certainly the columns and the beams for the inside of this property are now on the on the well on their way to completion i think we have one more here that they will do uh, next week with these uh, with these beams here on the outside but yeah this is vlog 184 legends this is the uh the end of the week an update on uh, all that's gone on this week all the gang gang are wearing sunglasses looking very cool Now I'm eating more sunglasses. Woo. There you go. Too bad. Group chair, group. Group chair, ice. And this is the uh, close-up, as I promised, Legends, of the uh, breaker box or the breaker me me metal box on the third floor. As I mentioned, it runs down the centre of this uh, spine of this uh, staircase and will eventually hold the breakers in here. So legends, if you have any questions about what you're seeing here in vlog 184 or anything that you have seen this week in this week's uh, melee of vlogs, please do put them in the comment section below of this YouTube channel, the Miles Rolden YouTube channel. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, hear any of your compliments. I love reading the kind words that you guys put in. And as well as that, if you have uh, shared this content and you are new to this channel, please, please, please hit that uh, like button on the uh, YouTube channel, as well as that, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny. And if you enjoy this content by subscribing, you'll receive regular notifications of when this um, channel uploads videos. And as well as that, it will also recommend similar content to this if you enjoy watching modern house builds particularly here in the Philippines
channel. If you uh, saw the end of vlog 183, the uh, previous vlog to this, you would have seen there was a gentleman that was uh, measuring our carport. Uh, from uh, that was uh, shout out to Chris from Jim Jazz Roofing Supplies in Wa'an Ra City. They are here to give us a quotation on the roof, the long span roof, as well as various other bits and pieces like outside Kesame uh, for the carport and for this big balcony that I'm standing on right now. So uh, hopefully we'll put some outside Kesame right there on these beams. When I say outside Kesame, outside ceiling, so the ceiling isn't made of uh, your traditional material of uh, wood. It will be a coated uh, steel plate that hopefully will stop any of the insects, the termites from eating away at it and will serve us for many, many, many years. That's the whole point of this house, to make it as robust as possible, minimal maintenance, just, uh, just uh, give it a regular wipe here and there and uh, that should preserve the life of this of this uh, modern house build. So the gang gang now are halloting or mixing more concrete. It doesn't warrant a uh, cement mixer, motorized mixer. It's a manual mix of sand, cement and stone with water. And then we uh, literally just run it up the chain and pour it into these beams.
Mr. Legends, if you tuned into vlog 183, you'll know that we were pouring these concrete beams. And uh, today, these beams were removed from their foremast and their forms were transferred over there. So yeah, these beams are very, very sturdy. You can see that they are formed well. And with the backdrop of that blue Philippine sky, there's not much you can ask for in this world from this building project, but perfect job and a job well done. And uh, I, uh, I thoroughly believe that the gang gang have worked well this week. I'm thoroughly happy with all the progress that has happened despite the uh, changes in weather. And our foreman Rocky has been absent for two days because of uh, our family, uh, celebrations birthdays etc so uh, I'm happy to leave uh, apprentice Tanoi in charge of the gang gang and uh, what what progress has been made has been uh, been documented and I'm very pleased with it all so yeah I hope you would agree you've seen uh, if you've seen the regular updates this week you will also have seen the progress and I'm sure you're happy with the viewing that you've uh, had. You've had over two and a half hours worth of vlogs this week from me and uh, our views are steadily increasing again so I'm uh, very happy to say that we have momentum and uh, long may that continue. Remember legends to keep supporting my journey here in the Philippines I'm so so pleased I'm coming back to my roots here and uh, a big part of that is obviously having a, a comfortable house to live in uh, while we uh, manage my father's uh, fish farm and uh, my mother's boarding house in Royal City Capis, the seafood capital of the Philippines, as well as uh, my father's family farm as well. So a lot to be uh, documenting. It won't all be building work. Check out my other playlists, all of the uh, aforementioned uh, endeavours that I'm up to here in the Philippines have all got their separate playlists and you can see uh, what we've been doing here in the six months to a year that I've been here. I'm sure you'll enjoy that form of content as well. Right legends, that's it for vlog 184. Vlog 184 is in the can. I'm gonna go and edit it now. I hope you enjoyed today's update, or on the whole week actually. Uh, it's Saturday, it's for the day, so I gave you a, an up-to-date update on everything that went on this week. Uh, I hope you'll agree, it was a, 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 a very uh, good week. We did a lot of progress. If you are new to the channel, you enjoyed this uh, vlog, hit the like button, and of course, hit the subscribe button. Uh, to all my legends, thanks for your support. Continue to support my journey here in the Philippines. With all that being said, 
I hope to see you all in vlog 185. Vlog 185 is next. It's me, me, myself, and I, Miles Rolden. Thanks for watching.